everyone. My name is Miss Anne, and welcome to our little science experiment that we're going to be doing today. Uh, what we're going to be talking about today is chemical reactions, but also we can talk about volcanoes and use this, what we're going to be doing today, as a demonstration. Um, so what we're going to be making is a volcano using clay, or in an earlier video, I made Play-Doh. And I realized I don't have any use for the Play-Doh, so I'm going to use this Play-Doh to build my very own volcano today. So if you know how to make Play-Doh, or you have Play-Doh on hand, or clay, you can do this experiment. It's pretty simple. So what I have is I have baking soda and I have vinegar, so the basic reaction. Um, a chemical reaction is when you mix two things together, two substances like baking soda and vinegar, and something entirely new comes out of it. And it's often something you can see or smell, and so we're going to be doing that today. So I'm going to take my baking soda, and I have a tiny little cup here. Uh, this is a cup from, I made um, cinnamon rolls recently, and so I said, well, I can use the cup where the icing comes out, clean it up, and use it for this. So even in strange times like, like these, we can find, you know, multi-purpose uses for things. All right, so I have my baking soda just in my tiny little cup. You can use a Dixie cup, uh, Pyrex cup. You'd have to clean it, but you can use that too. And so now I'm just going to use my Play-Doh to build a volcano. And so use as much as, as you have on hand. If you have a tinier cup, that would be even better. Um, I'm just going to build that. And I have a pretty decent amount, so I think I should be okay. Um, and then you can pour the vinegar right on top. So like I said, that this is some, an experiment where you can talk about chemical reactions, how, you know, sometimes you build things and, you know, put things together and new reactions, new things come out of it, um, and ask the kids what they see and what they, you know, experimented with, and, and that's a great way to do it. But um, I also could talk about uh, volcanoes with this, and I've, I've used this experiment before to talk about a volcano. So often what I'll say is that under a volcano, there are these plates called tectonic plates, and they move. Sometimes they move away from one another, and what comes in the center is hot lava or magma, really. And with a volcano, sometimes they push together and they get so much pressure that one slips underneath the other one. And then we have this reaction. We have magma coming out over the top of our volcano. Oh, I might also talk about how sometimes they move to, like this, and that's an earthquake. And you see a lot of earthquakes on what we call fault lines, where two of these plates meet, and sometimes they rub against each other, and that pressure builds up, and it creates, you know, that those earthquakes. So again, you can talk about these things. I usually use my hands as an explanation. Uh, we have uh, diverging, going away from one another, and that's often in the uh, like in the ocean, um, you know, the, there's different trenches in the ocean. Um, we have conversion coming together, and they're also learning really big words when we're doing this, conversion coming together, and when they bump, those can create a volcanic eruption or an earthquake as well. And then we have transform or transformative, which is just moving together like that. So again, this is a great experiment to talk about chemical reactions and volcanoes. All right. But really, we want to see this. We want to see what happens. So again, a chemical reaction is when you move, put two things together, and a new substance forms. And it's something that you can often smell, uh, or hear, or see. In this case, we're going to be able to see it, and we're going to be able to hear it if you were here and you could hear it. But right now, I'm going to try my best to show you guys what that chemical reaction is going to look like. Let's see if I put more in. Ta-da! Add more vinegar, it'll continue to do what it's going to do. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my little explanations. I will link to these videos, uh, some of the places that I got a lot of the information about this and how I've used them in my programs. Uh, stay safe out there, and I hope to see you very soon at our library.